Welcome to the Ash Life. What's going on, y'all? I am cleaning my room right now, and I decided, like, why not just start vlogging? You know, this is my vlog channel. I am wearing shorts. And a Santa shirt in the spring, almost. <laughs> kind of like, I don't know. But that's what I do. I literally sleep in things like that. And I'm kind of like cleaning my room and trying to just get ready for the day. Because I woke up super late. And, um, yeah, I was so tired. And I was like, you know, I can't start my day and start filming and doing things unless my room is clean. So, here's my room. Right now, I have some things. I was going to do a whole clean with me and everything, but I kind of already cleaned the room in a sense. So, I can't really show you guys that, but I'm going to actually get ready. Look at this. I have some stuff from Shein on the floor over here. I still have yet to do my Shein haul. And I just got to finish picking up some stuff around the room. And for my other channel, I'm finally starting to collect some empties. But, you know, who knows when that will be done. With the way I function, my area, like my room can get messy, like super duper quick i'm always 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 cleaning stuff and just trying to organize and just be better you know just always trying to be better and get my stuff together get my life together i talked about in my video yesterday my ask ash video this book called look at this cut the crap and if you ever feel like you're being fed a constant stream of unsolicited advice, do you ever feel like you're caught between having too much yet never enough? Do you sometimes feel as if you've lost connection with what is you and what you really want from life or the person you really want to be? If so, it's time to cut the crap. And that's why I really like this book. And I recommend it to you guys. You guys can see my little bookshelf down here. And this is where I keep all my books. You can see I'm not an avid book reader. Like, I don't have a lot of books. But I do have some. And the ones that I have, I really like. One of my um, friends actually gave this to me. This isn't even a book. This is, like, a planner kind of thing. You can write your goals in there and all that. But, yeah. I'm trying to organize this. I just want to put my stuff back. One day, I'll have a big house with a bookshelf and all these type of books. People can come in and you know take a little bit from and all of that i really have no idea what i'm about to do today like i know i need to film for my other channel and this channel right now i'm just actually seeing where it's gonna go like i'm excited because it's just a more chill vibe it's just me like i'm just talking about what the heck i want to talk about and just being me you know and i have like my little perfumes you know because it's a thing like you'll hear about it on this channel too like i have moonlight path right here love moonlight path mm smells so good to me i can't believe i didn't like this for so long it's so crazy how your you know sense of smell and your liking of a certain fragrance can change and you can just be like you know i like something again and i think as a youtuber too like a lot of people will be like well you said you didn't like it well baby i like it now i don't know what to tell you like people be like oh are you just saying things because no like i honestly i'm the least i would say I'm the person that will not lie to you. <laughs> like, I will tell you. Like, I'm very respectful, though. Like, if I don't like a fragrance, I'll probably be like, you know, it's not my favorite. Um, I won't be, like, bashing it. But otherwise, like, if I don't like something, you will know. Like, you'll see it on my face. I will not <laughs> like it, okay? That's just me. I have some blankets here that I actually need to pick up. But honestly, it's like, where do I put them? So I just leave them right here on my bed. I have my towel here. I need to vacuum the carpet. I got some paint on my carpet the other day, which is annoying. So now I have to figure out how I'm going to get that out. But yeah. I'm using this like butterscotch candle for a minute. And it actually is super strong. So I have to really like cap it. Like some candles I don't even have to put the lid back on. But this, I can't leave the lid off for too long because it's super strong. So yeah, if you want a candle with a really like a really strong throw, this is it. I actually didn't even eat breakfast yet, and this camera doesn't even like to focus. I need to eat breakfast. I need to get dressed. I need to start the day. It's already late. Let me tell you guys what time it is. It's 2.31. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can't deal. I'm going to order something because I'm really hungry. And I have yet to plan out my diet and whatever I want to do with that. I just haven't done that, and I really want to because I want to lose, like, 20 pounds. And... I just have to plan out what I'm going to do, like count my calories, what meals I'm going to be eating, cut out bread, all these things that I love, like white rice, bread. I know there's like other plans that I could do where I don't have to cut out things, but you know what? I feel like I'll just do it that way. Is someone about to jump off a freaking building? 
Okay, I don't know why I just rushed. But I'm about to go on Uber Eats and order something. I don't even know what I want. Like, I use Uber Eats when I just don't feel like going out. I might actually order Panera because I love Panera Bread. Panera Bread is one of my favorites, and I'll show you guys my order when I get it. But I'm a huge fan of Panera Bread, and I think their food is always so good. Like, top tier fire food. So I need to get ready and take a shower and just get ready for the day. I really truly need to hurry up. Ah. I don't even know what I'm going to be doing today. I already exfoliated it last night when I took a shower and I'm probably going to do like a really quick, super quick shower, like seriously, in and out type vibe. the shower started getting ready and i need to finish my hair i need to do my edges and do a little quick makeup i've been really into like not doing like crazy makeup like or at least using foundation and i might need to actually look and i got this top from shein and this is my first time actually wearing it but yeah i'm going to i think i'm gonna do my edges first and i'm actually wearing for my scent of the day <laughs> I usually talk about this on my main channel, but I'm using this Frosted Snow Blossom from Bath & Body Works. I'm going to pair it with another perfume, though. But, yeah, you guys. Ugh. I, I think I talked about it in a few other videos. Like, I've been actually really liking my hair. And I feel like, you know, I'm going to try to look into different styles and things like that. And just, like, really, you know, find what I like and what works for me. And just have fun with it like it's a journey just like finding who you are and like what you like and you know just discovering different parts of yourself so that's what my goal is right now just try to do my edges you know just make sure it's laid and then I'm gonna do like a simple makeup look so sometimes I like take the comb and use it because the comb kind of like helps it but I have to get my hair redone soon anyway, so I don't really get too frustrated if it's not cooperating because I'm like, the fact that it's even looking as good as it does right now, I'm happy. So I just finished doing my edges, but I got distracted because I'm, you guys know I ordered food and I'm still starving my hair, y'all. I can't wait to let my hair down, like, ugh. But the Uber Eats driver cannot find me, like, my address. Like, everybody always goes to the wrong location, so, oh, she's finally calling the front gate. She made it. Thank you. Oh, finally like she was lost and they always get lost coming over here and I get afraid that they might cancel my order so that's always annoying but yeah I am now moisturizing my face just so I can get ready to put on this little bit of makeup you already know a little bit of makeup I don't even I realize like I love less Makeup, I don't like a lot. I feel like I look better without a foundation, so I don't put it on anymore. So, yeah, I'm gonna do my eyebrows first and see how that goes. I've been doing my eyebrows for so many years that it's just like, I know a lot of people be like, oh, they can't talk while they're doing their brows. Like, I literally just do it. I, I'm so quick with it. It's something that I feel like in my makeup routine or like get ready routine like that I've perfected because I've been doing it for so long. Like I'll just fleek the brows real quick and be done. Like I literally just do it. And on my face I'm using, I'm gonna use this um, Maybelline Fit Me powder. And I just put it on for my face. It gives my face a little bit of like that airbrush look. Like you would get with a foundation. But it's like not foundation. And then I'm going to be using this mascara. 
This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Curved Brush in the color Black Noir. And I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow look. I use like really... Like, I use regular colors. I get my highlighter from here. You guys can see it's literally gone. And I'm going to use some eyeshadow from here. I usually use these two colors, as you can see. And they're just like browns and nudes. And that's going to be it for my makeup look. And I'm going to see you guys when I'm done and when my food is here. just pulled up to Publix I was the last time I saw you guys I just finished eating I just you know was getting ready and I was like okay I wrote down all the things that I'm trying to do to lose this weight like I'm trying to lose 20 pounds and I'm so serious so I'm at Publix right now and I'm gonna buy things for the week that'll help me like some water make sure I have some eggs just some healthy snacks throughout the day like I hardly snack throughout the day so when I get food like it'll be a full meal I eat too much like right now I'm full like that Panera was already like my little meal and I wouldn't say it's a cheap meal but it's like the last like meal with all the carbs and the bread like I literally went all out so now I'm like gonna cut all those things out and really really focus on this diet and yeah so now I'm in front of Publix and I'm gonna go do some shopping and I guess I'll do a small little grocery haul for you guys so when I'm done and when I picked up everything but yeah that's really it so I'm gonna go into Publix pick up what I need and um, yeah I'm looking girl summer is almost here so I'm looking for a new shower routine gonna buy some new products <laughs> I'm reading my comments I'm always reading my YouTube comments throughout the day because I begin comments on everything like it's crazy but yeah about to go inside and put my mask on and if I can I'll show you guys stuff that I'm picking up otherwise I'll do like a little grocery haul when I get all this stuff Damn, it's like right when I start my diet, I really want these Cheesecake Factory breads. Oh. oh my gosh, and they have the Panera soups. Are these good? Panera bread, apple, and broccoli cheddar soup. This actually looks so good. How much is this? This is about 240 calories per cup. I might get this because I love soup. How much are these though? I'm just picking up stuff and I have no idea what the price even is. Oh, they're brown, they're all food. Hmm. They have the baked potato, they have the New England clam chowder. This is 250 calories per cup. 400 per one cup. 470 per container. So this is a lot of calories. But I'm gonna get just two for now just to see if I like it. And they have roses, found it on free. Can't eat no chips, y'all. No chips, no soda. Oh my dang. No cereals. Let me get some teas though. Hello, how are you? Bye. Yes, I'm back finally. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I changed my hair. <laughs> you doing good though? Everything good? Yeah, everything's good, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm looking actually to get some teas and I've got to look into eating oatmeal in the mornings because oatmeal is super super good for you so I'm gonna eat some oatmeal but I don't know which one I want all right you guys so I just got home and I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul for you guys and show you everything that I picked up it's not a lot I kind of tried to you know just get some things that I know I was gonna need throughout the week I got a whole bunch of these waters. This is the Eternal water. Um, I love these. Um, my boyfriend always has them too, so I bought them. And I, I like them. And when I drank this one time, I was in the car with him. Yo, he had to exit off the highway because I had to pee. I drank this whole thing like way too fast and like boom. And so I went to a local, like it was like a Jamaican store and they always have fresh coconut water. So I always get some fresh coconut water and some sugar cane from them. And they put it in a gallon for me and I just have nice fresh coconut water to drink. I have some fruits. I was gonna try the nature cereal thing. So I have some strawberries, have some blackberries, blueberries and i have raspberries and grapes so i'm gonna be doing that but i don't have pomegranate they literally took all the pomegranates so i can only do the nature cereal 
with coconut water in these fruits until I can get pomegranates. I got the broccoli cheddar soup Panera bread. This is going to be kind of like a treat for me when I go to my internship because I always end up ordering Panera bread. So I'm going to try these out, see if they taste like the real Panera bread soup. I got some quick cooking oats so I can eat for breakfast and some tea bags because I want to start drinking more teas. I got the green tea with mint and I also got a cozy chamomile tea and I eat only tuna like I literally eat tuna a lot. So I got the herb and garlic also got hickory smoked and the other flavor I got was the sweet and spicy so I can make these really really quick super fast I got some baby dove soap bars love these um I found them in public so I was super happy and I also got some russet potatoes okay some good potatoes my mom already cooked some food and I'm gonna be trying brown rice and I'm not excited about it because <laughs> I'm not a fan of brown rice but because of the diet that I want to be on and just the lifestyle I'm trying to you know change into I'm gonna incorporate more brown rice and i like the white rice from this brand so i'm gonna try it out see if i like it and that's pretty much it for the grocery haul pomegranates and I really want to try this nature cereal thing you know how it is on TikTok I feel like some people overhyped it but again I don't have pomegranates so I feel like that probably like makes the cereal but whatever I'm gonna try it you guys with my fresh coconut water this ain't from the store but you know what this isn't a bad little thing I'm not even gonna lie. I don't even like raspberries, blueberries, and all that. I'm not gonna lie. And I put strawberries in mine because, you know, might as well substitute. But now I'm just wondering how it would taste now, you know, with the pomegranates in there. Hmm. Tastes good to me. And I normally don't eat fruits like this. This isn't bad at all. If you were hesitant about trying it, I definitely would. I'm a huge fan of coconut water. And I feel like instead of putting ice, I'd rather put... I'd much rather just have the coconut water be cold. So that the ice doesn't like water down the coconut water. But it's actually a really good snack. Mm. not gonna lie y'all it's pretty good and yes people are like oh it could be a smoothie i mean do what you want you know how trends are <laughs> kind of different mom probably like what the heck are you eating <laughs> but that's the thing about social media there's good things and bad things you know i would have never tried this in a million years mm. It's social media wasn't a thing but that's the thing it's just fun like I feel like a lot of people are like debbie downers like bro yeah we know it could be a freaking smoothie but it's cool because it's not but yeah i don't know y'all it's not bad i probably won't put ice in it next time because i don't want the ice to water down my coconut water take out the ice before it melts even more if you don't have these the baby dove bar soap get you a bar of soap okay they're fire like lather is super good moisturizing rich sensitive skin try it out love these and they're getting hard to find so yeah i think this is like a 10 out of 10 only because i don't like fruit i rarely eat my fruits and vegetables so for me to be eating this you guys like i'm eating a lot this is actually good I feel like this is a good way, maybe too, to get your kids to eat, you know, fruits and vegetables. I don't know. Might be. But, not bad. And that's on period. 
it's actually the next day and i just finished editing this video and i actually really like that cereal i ate some more this morning um i put grapes in it this time y'all i'm just adding stuff but i hope that you guys enjoyed make sure you comment down below anything you guys want to see next from me on this channel and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye